My dudes. It's been confirmed, ma'am. It's been confirmed. Look, alright? We don't know if in the beginning, Nantic just screwed up and accidentally uploaded some crap. But look at this. We've all speculated. What is it? Is it a bolt? Is, is it just a big nut? Is it a ditto? Is it a placeholder? It looks like a placeholder. 404 not found. Looks like the Game Freak logo. A couple of you guys tweeted that to me. It looks like a Game Freak logo. Look at this tweet. If you've caught a ditto in Pokemon Go recently, you might want to take a closer look. We can now confirm reports of Wild Ditto transforming into the new Hex Nut Pokemon. My dude is a nut. He's a big nut. Melton. That's his name. They got a trailer for this. It says, new Pokemon discovered. This is actually the one. The brand new Gen 8 Pokemon that's supposed to be in the next Pokemon games is Melton. Let's just freaking look at this. The two professors. Episode, what is this? Hello there. Professor Oak, can you hear me? Not actual Hello game. Hello there, Willow, my boy. What Pokemon are you going to send me today? Actually, Professor, it's a special one. You see, there's something very important about... Oh, don't tell me. Is it a Pikachu? No, I already Why? sent you a Pikachu a little while back. Then it must be an Eevee. Mm, no, Bro, professor. shut up. I actually have a ditto for you to... A ditto? That was going to be my next guess. Well, you see, the thing is, Professor... That's him from the Let's Go games. I'm so stupid. The Pokemon this ditto has transformed itself into. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Okay, you let me just pause here. So listen, okay? What happened is after it got uploaded onto the Pokemon Go servers, they had this event where you could find Chikoritas everywhere. And during that event, suddenly at the end, people started finding just a bunch of these Pokemon everywhere. You guys tweeted it to me, they're tiny, and it almost makes sense that it's a placeholder. They didn't scale it properly. And even if you hacked it into your game, you would be so small, like it wouldn't even make sense. But all of you guys got a chance to catch it. If you open your app right now, it, it might even still be there. But if you catch it, it turns into a ditto, which is a great way to show us that there's a brand new Pokemon without letting us capture it since the game isn't out yet. So that's what he's talking it's about. Not just any ditto. I wanted to discuss the Pokemon this ditto has transformed itself into. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Here, have a look at this video. <laughs> Freaking smartphone age. What is this? I've never seen this Pokemon. You haven't? Well, if that's the case, Professor, it must be a new Pokemon, undiscovered till now. There have been numerous sightings of this Pokemon reported over the past few days. But it turns out that all of them were just transformed ditto. That's all we've got right now. This is canon Wait, now? I have seen this Pokemon. I was gonna say, how could he not? Ancient text I once read. So you've heard of it? Yes, if I'm not mistaken, it could be the mythical Pokemon Meltan. Meltan? Found it. This Bruh. is the text. The description here that is sick. Image you sent me. Thankfully, right. he knows. This is a discovery for the ages, Professor. He'd be a crap professor. Hmm. But it does make you wonder what kind of Pokemon Meltan might be. Who That's knows? sick. But I am excited to find out, Professor. So it has to do any information I can find. with the Gen 8 legend. These texts, as well as taking a close look at that ditto you are sending my way. Oh, Professor, I knew you wouldn't let me down. I consider myself very lucky to have you as my mentor. I know. Right. I'll be in touch. You wait, I Meltan. He knows more. That is so sick. It's got a nice ring to it. Right. Looks like it's time to do some field work. All right, cool. Go cut the grass. It to be there's episode 2. Okay, so maybe we'll learn more. Maybe over the next few weeks or days, they're gonna show us more of this. So, first of all, for Oak to say he doesn't know the Pokemon, I didn't agree with that. Because technically, Oak even knew about all seven generations up until now. For him to not know about the eighth one would be weird. He knew about it after all. It has to do with some ancient texts. So, this thing is like the Cosmog. Or like the, the Zygarde Cell. It's like a small Pokemon that has to do with the legend. That picture where it's in ancient text right here it reminds you of like miu when it was just in pictures and they're trying to find it whatever this pokemon is it's the hex nut pokemon melton it has to do with machinery and such and some of the leaks you don't know if they're fake or not i think it said this for pokemon plus and minus which was like way back before sun and moon but it said the theme is old tradition versus new exploration or old tradition versus innovation and technology I don't know where this guy fits in, but he's a Bolt Pokemon. Clearly, he's part of some sort of, like, machine or something. That's what they do. This literally just came out. Oh, it's a Let's Go image. Like, he still looks like a placeholder. This is its official art. My dude is for real. 
by Sugimori. So it didn't turn out to be the Zorar Zork of the next generation. It's the Victini of the next generation. It's gonna be Pokemon 000 in Gen 8. And it's freaking Melton. Let me know what you think about Melton. He's the real deal. He's the new Pokemon that's going to be in Let's Go. And listen, I'm just so glad it said those leaks that it was going to be some pink whale are wrong. What lore does that add? This guy already, he's adding lore to the games. We can speculate and know that Gen 8 has some cool story to tell. So pink whale is no fun to it. At least we know this guy has to do with some sort of legend. And there's going to be something cool about him. In the story to tell in Gen 8. I tweeted this for fun. It was a couple days ago. Gen 8 stories about a big machine that protected the region suddenly breaking down. You meet Clinky on the way, who we now know is Melton, and you fight against the bad guys. And then at the end of the game, you reach the big machine that broke down and find out that Melton was the missing piece. And he sacrifices himself and goes back in, parting ways with you forever to save the region. I tweeted that making fun of the fact that he looked like a ball, but he is a ball. He's the Hex Nut Pokemon. I don't know what they're trying to do. Let me know in the comments below. I'll have a playthrough video for you guys soon. See you in the next one. Peace.